Hi everybody, welcome to my latest YouTube video. I uh, hope you're well and fine and dandy out there in Beatles land and uh, YouTube land and the VC and record collecting world. Uh, everybody's welcome here, so thank you for joining me. Um, as some of you may know, um, for a long time I didn't even have a CD player up in my music room. I had a CD player downstairs, but it was very, very rare that I actually played CDs. Um, but now I've got a CD player up here, and this box here, this box, is full of Beatles CDs, Beatles and Solo CDs. Um, so I've just been having a quick look through, and uh, this there's two that I want to show you um, and this just shows you like the sort of things that was on about earlier on why why doesn't Apple or Universal Music start releasing things that are already out there as bootlegs um, I'm not going to go Apple or Universal Music when I say this but there's actually some fantastic unofficial stuff out there and the one I'm, the ones I'm going to show you today are the Beatles UK EP collection and there's volume one and volume two and the mono so this is it that is volume one I think the Japanese but I could I could be wrong um, so basically it's one CD and you get the com you know well with the two CDs you get the complete UK Beatles EPs um, so on track one it basically goes from 63 to 64 and then on volume 2 which is that one there it goes from 64 to 67 so that's volume 1 and that's volume 2 uh it's actually quite quite a nice little set so we'll start off with this one volume 1 so you get twist and shout a taste of honey do you want to know a secret and there's a place so that was one cd wasn't it uh one ep sorry then you get for me to you, thank you, girl, please please me, and love me do. Then you get I saw her standing there, misery, and I go to him, chains, all my loving, ask me why money, and P.S. I love you. Then you get long tall Sally, I call your name, slow down, and matchbox. Then you get I should have known better, if I fell, tell me why, and I love her, any time at all. I'll cry instead. Things were said today. When I get home, no reply. I'm a loser. Rock and roll music in eight days a week. So you actually get 20... Sorry, not. 32 songs on that. Which is equivalent of... Uh, what is it? One, two... So basically that is from the Twist and Shout EP up to uh, Beatles for Sale EP. Uh, so that is the track listing. I'll hold it there in case you want to freeze or zoom in. That's the that's the bottom of it. So they've made it look really, really official, haven't they? You know, they've got the EMI thing there and everything. I can't read what it says underneath though, unfortunately. And then that is the front cover, and then that is the side. So inside, you do get some other goodies, so please bear with me. You get this fold-out paper thing, which I presume is all the words in Japanese. But I don't know, because I can't read Japanese. Uh, and then you do get the track listing again. I think it is I think it is Japanese. So that is the track listing. Now I must emphasize once again, uh for the past probably seven or eight years I've hardly ever played my CDs. I've got the odd ones downstairs and in a little box and I've got a couple in my car and that's it. So my vehicle CDs have been actually sat in a box in the corner over there for the best part of eight years um they've been stored 
you know, correctly standing up and things like that. Then you get this little inner sleeve. So basically on this one, you've got the songs that was original on the Twist and Shout EP, the Beatles Hits EP, the Beatles number one EP, the All My Loving EP, Long Tall Sally EP and extracts from the film A Hard Day's Night. Then you've got the extracts from the album A Hard Day's Night and Beatles for Sale. Nice, isn't it? And you do get, you even get the Parlophone logo there. Uh, compact Disc Digital Audio, EMI Records Limited. And this is Haynes Middlesex England under there. And then you get the face similarities of the Beatles signatures. Obviously not the real signatures, they're like photocopies. So, you know, this is this is one of them things where I'm saying if bootleggers can do things this good, then while they're doing it, collectors could be buying them. I don't I'm not sure if you can buy these anymore. Not. I've had the like I say, I've had these for years and years and years. Um and then on the on the actual label, it's just printed like that. So that's volume one. Um, it does say some things on the outside, but to be honest with you, I can't really see what it says. So isn't that lovely? And these weren't that expensive. Um, I think it did come as a, as, a, as a two LP set or two CD set. So if I remember rightly, it did have the shrink wrap around it, which unfortunately went years and years and years ago. That's brilliant, it's lovely, isn't it? And I have just played played a few tracks off this. It sounds absolutely fantastic. So it came like that, and then you had that bound there like that. So it was like that. And then that was on the back, and then it was in shrink wrap. All right, so you have got a barcode and stuff on the back of here, which I can't barely read. So I don't know if this is, I'm presuming it's a, it's an unofficial release, but places in like Japan and things had certain little uh, deals with EMI, didn't they? Um, so it could be like a release just for the Asian market. I don't know. I don't think it is. I do, you know, I, I do think it's, it, is it a counterfeit? It's not, a, it's not really a bootleg, is it? Or it can't really be a counterfeit because it's not really counterfeiting anything, is it? It's just putting all the EP songs onto two discs. So this is the second disc. And that's alternative shot from the rain video, isn't it? So that all of those on there are mono. And I think all of them on here are mono apart from the uh, Magical Mystery Tour songs which i think are stereo if i remember rightly so on here you get what do we get we get i'll follow the sun babies in black words of love i don't want to spoil the party she loves you i want to hold your hand can't buy me love i feel fine yesterday act naturally you like me too much it's only love nowhere man drive my car then you've got michelle you won't see me ah Right, then you've got Magical Mystery Tour, Mono. Your mother should know, Mono. I am the walrus, Mono. The fool on the hill, Mono. Flying, Mono. Blue Jay Way, Mono. Then you've got Magical Mystery Tour, Stereo. Your mother should know, Stereo. I am the walrus, Stereo. The fool on the hill, Stereo. Flying, Stereo. And Blue Jay Way Stereo. So you've got Magical Mystery, the songs Magical Mystery Tour are on mono and stereo on this. Again, you know, it's a very, very nice product. Done very, very nice. Very, very well. Very, very convincing that it could be an official uh, release, which we don't think it is, do we? So again, you get you get this like that. 
or words in Japanese or Chinese or Taiwan or whatever. And then you've got the track listing again on there. So on here we have the songs from the Beatles for sale number two, the Beatles Million Sellers, Yesterday, Nowhere Man, Magical Mystery Tour, the mono Magical Mystery Tour, the stereo. And then on the back we've just got, um, it still has got the Parlophone trademark. I think it says copyright 1985 on here. It does say original sound recordings made by EMI. So is it? But then if, if it was like that, because that's, that's that side and that's that side. But all oh, this is on a black one, so it's reminiscent of when they did the Past Masters. The, it, originally, when Past Masters came out as a CD, it was two different CDs. Uh, so you had to buy Past Masters Volume 1 and Past Masters Volume 2. Volume 1 was on a white label, Volume 2 was on a black label. Isn't that lovely, though? And like I say, the sound quality on these is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's on par with any of the official CDs released around this time. Um, but this is one of them, them things what I've been saying on a couple of videos just lately. Uh, so I like doing all these nice expensive box sets, which we do all love, don't we? As Beatles collectors and record collectors and Beatles fanatics, we love a box set. But people have only got so much money. And... Yes, it's nice to have all the alternatives and stuff, but if you look, you can get most of the alternatives online with semi-official or unofficial releases. Um, I have got quite a few more of these uh, sort of things. Um, but I'm going to throw it out to you lot out there. If you want me to show you a few more of these, then I will do. Uh, if you're saying you don't want to see them, then that's fair enough. Um, like I say, I've got no problem with things like this, because until Apple or Universal Music or the Beatles.com or whatever it is start to release... I mean, I think this is one that would make a, a lovely double album, to be honest. Um, because where can you go out and get the EPs now? You can't, can you? Unless you're paying, you know, silly, silly money on eBay for the blue box sets that came out a few years ago. Yes, you might be looking to get a couple of the original ones, but they'll be played to death. But you know, that would make a really, really nice album, wouldn't it? Double album. Or maybe two separate volumes even, like they are here. Uh, don't think I paid that much for these, to be honest. Um, like I say, I've, I have had them for, must be eight, over five years, if not more than that. That's probably more than that, to be honest. I think. I think I got these in about 2016, and I've only played them a handful of times, to be honest. Because, like I said, I've used to have a CD player up there. So that, so that is the first ones of these. Um, the other thing is, we was, I did a review on this didn't I, the other day. The Beatles live in Tokyo, and I, and I said how crap this sounded. <laughs> I've actually found, looking through my CD box, that I've got it on CD. Um, it's exactly the same track listing. But, I'll be honest with you, although it doesn't sound brilliant on here, it, so, it actually sounds a hundred times better on this compact disc than what it does on this vinyl LP. Don't mind, I, st I still like this vinyl LP. And it is nice to have in your collection. Uh, I'll just give you a quick burst of... If I needed someone, if it works. Bear in mind, this is coming through the CD, and it's only you're only gonna hear it through my uh, phone, so it might not sound brilliant because I, I don't want to have it on too loud. So we'll just try it and see if it comes on. And we'd like to do a song now, which is off one of our LPs, and this is a song which is sung by. Oh, that was feedback from the from the concert. By, That's not. Coming off the CD. Oh, Taurus, George, let's go. If I needed someone. If I needed someone to love, the one that I'd be thinking of. If I needed someone. Do 
still in check, yeah? I'll just pause it there so I don't get done for copy of that. So, I'd actually forgot that I'd got this. In fact, I've got another copy of it as well, which is... Ooh, 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 ooh. That one there, which you can tell is a, is a bootleg, that's been done off somebody's computer. And that does sound crap, it doesn't sound anywhere as good as that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, if you want to know about the hat, this is an old Formula One hat. Um, I love my Formula One, as you know. Uh, for the Orange Arrows team. Uh, and Max Verstappen's dad used to actually race for Arrows back in the day. As you can see from on there. And this cap, this cap, actually got this on Saturday from our local little market down the road. It's a bit like a flea market uh, for pound. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've learned something from that. Like I say, that is something I think Apple should be looking at is to, yes, it's it's okay doing box sets and things, but let's let's get some of the stuff that we already know is out there into the, into like, you know, the general public sort of thing for the pop vehicles fans who don't want to be buying, you know, unofficial copies. But to be honest with you, I still think this could be a semi-official copy because it's got the EMR logos all over it. It's constructed really, really well. It's not cheap looking. And the sound quality is on par with what was coming out in the 80s. So, if anything, that sounds slightly better than the past master sort, sorts of CDs and things like that. And that would actually make a lovely double LP. I really do think that would make a double, really nice double LP. Whether you release it on vinyl or CD, uh, I think that is one that a lot of collectors would actually want. Uh, you know, it's an odd one, isn't it? Because it's like, I was having a conversation through texts and comments with uh, Beetle Brad today and say hello Beetle Brad and if you haven't checked him out check out his uh, uh, YouTube channel because he's got some amazing things and he was on about bootlegs and and I was like saying some of the ones I've got and I, I did say that I got the Beatles Christmas album uh, which is a bootleg but it's very very convincing you if you didn't know and I showed it, you would actually think it was the real thing from 1970. Again, that is one that could be released uh, or re-released or whatever you want to call it. Because it's bootlegged to hell. Uh, and it is quite expensive when you buy it. It's not like 10 or £15. You know, you're probably talking £30, if not more, to buy one of these counterfeit ones. Uh, original ones go in the hundreds. Uh, but I did say, but they sort of released it, didn't they, a few years ago when they did, that, did the Christmas box set. Can you remember when they came out as one-sided coloured singles, didn't they? Which, again, now you go on eBay, you're talking probably best part of £100, if not more, to get them. So that is one that I think Apple could look at, uh, you know, doing a one-off release or something, you know. Not for this Christmas time, obviously, but, you know, that's something that they could probably look at. Um, I know it's hard because you've got your copyrights and all that lot and some of the things probably Paul McCartney might not want to come out, some of the things Ringo might not want to come out, um, other things, you know, Yoko on behalf of John might not want to come out and then again Olivia might not want certain things out. Um, but to me, if you can ever see these, I don't know if you if you can still get these or not, but they are worth having. Uh, <laughs> Even if, I mean, when I bought these, I had not like a little CD player in my car. I used to play these in my car. And like I say, for the past probably six years, seven years, they've been in that box down there. Um, as with all the rest of the ones, I was quite amazed at how many CDs I'd got, to be honest. Uh, Beatles CDs. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that I haven't gone on too much. And somebody did comment the other day when I was on about this one that there was better versions out there. But apparently, from what I can make out, it is actually the same concert. You know, it is the, it is the evening show. Although it doesn't say on there. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I would say. 
which is the same. Uh, but like I've said, the sound, um, I mean, this is nothing special, to be honest. You know, it's, you can tell this one is a bootleg or an unofficial release. That's what I say, that's what that looks like. But then that looks very professional, doesn't it, if you compare the two. So, you know, we can, we can hope, can't we, that at some point Apple will start releasing things like this. Uh, or giving their permission for things like this to be released in the Beatles camp. Um, and then obviously there's things like the Shea Stadium concert, which we know exists. There's even film of that. Apparently there's film of this concert as well, in colour. Uh, so, you know, there is certain things there, but I should imagine that's to do with copyright as to who owns the rights to the music and the films and things like that. So, you know, we might have to wait a while and then we still might not ever get them officially. Uh, and that's going to be it for today. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. Um, thank you to everybody that is supporting me. Uh, sending me comments. Uh, subscribing. Leaving me likes. Viewing me videos. Um, I love, you know, I do love you all. And I'm not, really I'm not taking the mickey when I say that. I do mean it from the bottom of my heart. You know, it's like a little family now, this channel. Everybody's welcome. Uh, everybody's entitled to their own opinions. You might think they're not worth having, which in your opinion they might not be. To me, they are probably some of the best unofficial CDs or unofficial recordings by the Beatles I've seen because they do look very, very professionally made and the sound quality on that is 100%. Uh, that one, yeah, it's cheaply made. Um, but the sound quality, although still not brilliant, is a hell of a lot better than that. So, you know, it, it just goes to show, uh, and you never know where you're going to find these things either. Um, so until the next time, it's Beautiful Dave wishing you peace, love and happiness. Oh, and if you do want to see a few more of these, these sort of things, just let me know in the comments. Because I haven't got loads, but I've got a few. Um... And then I've got some other things as well, you know, because now I've got a CD player, we can start reviewing CDs as well, which is basically what that is. I was reviewing it and telling you it's sound quality and I think it's brilliant. And it is nice to have because not everybody can afford two or three hundred pounds for the EP box set. I'm lucky I've got all the original EPs in here. What, what this is on is like a big wooden crate and it's full of Beatles singles and EPs and I do have the blue EP box set as well from the 80s so I, I am quite lucky but I still think you know something like this whether you do it on CD limited edition LP or whatever I think that would sell in its millions or well, thousands anyway depending on how many depend on how many the print uh, because I've been watching a few other videos I'm sorry to go on but I will just mention this. I've been watching a few of the videos and there's a couple of people that I get on with very, very well who luckily they've put orders in for this um, Paul McCartney 7-inch box set, which isn't 80 singles, is it? It's 81 because you're getting 80 singles and then you're getting a random test pressing or something. Now, apparently there was only 3,000 of these made, these box sets, and they've already sold out. So if you haven't got one now, you're not going to get one, basically. Uh I've been on eBay this morning and I just put in Paul McCartney uh, singles box set and they're on there, all right? Bear in mind, what was the price in the UK? Between six and eight hundred pounds, wasn't it? And there's people on there, so they're gonna wait till they get there from Amazon or Paul McCartney's um, .com or whatever it's called, right? There's people on eBay already got them up for sale, although it hasn't actually been released yet, has it? And they're wanting like one and a half thousand pounds for them. It's like I said, instant collectible. Um, so if you're lucky enough to have ordered one, you've made you've made a, a bar, you know you've got a bargain straight away because that is only ever gonna go up and up and up in price. And I was like, that. I was in two minds whether to get one. I mean, I can't now anyway, but I did actually think it was just too expensive for me. Uh, and now seeing what they're going for on eBay before it's even officially been released, I don't think I'll ever get one. But I have got the majority of the singles anyway. So I hope. I hope and pray I haven't bored you too much. Uh, if you've stayed to the end of this video, 
you've done very very well thank you very much i, I thought this was going to be a, a little video um so until the next time like i said before thank you to everybody that is supporting me subscribing leaving comments and leaving likes and just remember if you're not if you're not subscribed and you like what you've seen just think about subscribing it is free if you haven't, if you haven't liked this video check out some of my other ones there's some uh you know there's quite a few video videos on on my channel and i think it's over 200 so i'm sure there is something that you will like so until the next time once again peace love and happiness stay safe everybody excuse me i hope you like the act um but this is worth a few few quid actually uh but that's that's going off the subject isn't it so to the half an army ducks stay safe remember beetle dave loves you all